Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making my own book of shadows and I know I've already shown you, showed you one that I've made before. This is going to be a bit of a different style and I'm going to use it for a different purpose. This is going to be one I'm going to use for a sort of book of shadows but it's going to be more of an art journal style. So I bought this book. It is a six by eight book. I bought it from Michaels. It's an artist loft brand book. And it's, you're obviously supposed to like color it yourself, the outside cover, but um, I'm not going to do that. It's just a blank book, you know. It's got, let's see, I think it has like 80 pages. Yeah, 80 sheets, 80 sheets. And then it's just black on the back and front. So I've got that. And then I, at Hobby Lobby, because they don't sell fabric at Michaels, I got this, um, it's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but there, maybe that's a little bit better, but it's this fake leather fabric. It was, it's not in the upholstery section, it was just in the regular fabric section. And I got about, you can see it's not real thick, the width of it. I got like an eighth of an inch, I mean an eighth of a yard. An eighth of an inch would be like ridiculously small. So um, I'm gonna cover it in that. And I might do like a closure in, with this ribbon here, which I actually wasn't originally planning that, but my mom went to the store to, um, I forget, Chico's I think it was called. And this was like the handles of the bags so the shopping bags so i took that off and i was like that might be good and then i'm going to use this pva glue that i got online a while back it's ph neutral so you can see i've used a bit so i'm either going to use that or if that doesn't end up working hmm, where did i put the other glue well ah here it is so i'm going to either use that or I also got super glue, Gorilla super glue, because I heard that that works well too. So I'm gonna either use one of those two for the fabric. And then I got these paintbrushes, which I'm gonna use the largest one to paint it on the cover, then then put the fabric on there. And by the way, this isn't going to be, this isn't like a tutorial. I'm just taking you along while I'm making it. And then I got these. I'm thinking about putting one of these on the cover. Or I might put one of these key things on there. Like this one or maybe this one. Sorry about the glare, it's in a plastic cover. And so then for the end papers, what, what was gonna go where that black is, I'm gonna use either this one or this one. I bought both because I didn't have the fabric with me at the time. Because I bought the fabric at Hobby Lobby, but then I bought everything else at Michael's, except for the PVA glue, which I said, remember, I bought online. And then I've started cutting out some things from magazines, just random different magazines that we have. Oh, those are all the backs. But um, we usually save our magazines, so I've started cutting stuff out from those that I'll be end up putting inside the book. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out my fabric to fit around the book and then I will come back. I also wanted to mention that although this is a craft project, it's also like a, it's gonna be my book of shadows, so it's like a spiritual project to me. So I'm gonna light my working candle and keep it off to the side so that I don't catch anything on fire. It's gonna be, I've got this desk here, but I've got, my mother's is like 90 degrees off to the side of mine. So I'm gonna keep it over there. Where there's no chance that it'll get on any of my stuff. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the book covered. I don't know if you were able to tell before, but this fake leather has this kind of texture to it, which is really nice. It feels kind of like suede. It's not got that real slick feel. It's kind of, kind of soft, but that's okay. I, the books have this like gusset thing here, you know, where it's like indented. And this side was originally going to be the front, but I couldn't get it in there very good. 
So I decided this side was now going to be the front because it's blank, so it doesn't really matter. So I've still got it like this, and you can see some glue seeped and some of it's kind of wrinkled where I couldn't get it down flat, but real good. And I'm sorry the light's not great in here. Two of the bulbs are out, and my mother refuses to put new ones in because she said she likes it really dim. But I decided to go with this end paper. I think it'll look better with both the color of the book and with the way you cut it. It won't look like part of it's cut off. Because this one, it looks like the design's supposed to be a certain way with like this being the center. And if I cut it like this, it would look like it was partially cut off. And I just don't want it to look that way. So I'm going to go ahead and put the end papers on and I will show you once it's done. Okay, so here it is. Almost complete. I did the end papers. They look real nice. That's from, that's the front. And the end papers there. And the end papers in the back. You can see there's a little bit of space here. The space at the top and the bottom isn't real big just because the papers, I had to do it all the way to the top on these, of course, unless I wanted to leave some of the black, which I didn't. So that's just naturally not very big. And then this part, I left a little bit more on just because I wanted to. And um, I don't think I'm gonna put this ribbon, like attach, I decided not to attach it. Because if I had wanted to, what I would have done was attach it here like this underneath the end papers so that it wasn't like attached and showing. But what I think I'm gonna do is just take it and wrap the journal in it like this when I'm not using it and it just won't be attached to the journal. And as far as the pieces to use on top, let me grab it real quick. I haven't decided. Um, hang on, let me open them. Well, no, I'm not going to open them because the pieces will go flying. The little pieces. So, this one. One of those round ones. And it'd be kind of up here, not like straight in the middle. Or, one of these little locks. And I'd either do it up here or down here. I don't know. So, yeah, I will, I'm going to let it dry overnight. And I will come back tomorrow to decide on the um, corner, I mean the center pieces. Okay, guys, so this is the final product. There's the key charm thing I decided to put on it. You can see here, there's these little bitty screws. Those are brads. And I just glued this on here with super glue. Just put like a dot here, 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 and here. And it glued on perfectly. And um, I let it sit overnight. It's now the next day. So that's dry. The inside's nice and dry. You can see, um, well, if, if it'll focus good. There we go. You can see how the inside looks now. Real nice. Back inside. Looks real nice. The back of the book looks real nice. I really like the way it looks. And it, if you lay it like this, it lays pretty flat. So I'm real happy with it. Can't wait to start using it and maybe I'll show you a little bit of what I do in it. Most of it will probably be pretty private but I might show you a little bit of what I do in it. So anyway I hope you like this video and hope you come back and watch more. Blessed to be.